Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Different Types of Deck Building. There are six types of deck building. Anti-Meta, Freestyle, Archetype, Dual Archetype, Multi-Archetype, and Engine. Okay, let's talk about the first type. Archetype. The first type, Archetype, consists of a series of cards sharing the same name. Archetype. Decks usually follow a linear playstyle. Another note, Archetype decks revolve around four things. These four things are 1. Recruiter 2. Searcher 3. Summoner 4. A Boss Monster the four things I have mentioned go hand in hand with a normal archetype deck. The recruiter allows an archetype deck to summon more copies of a card and allow the deck to get the searching card from your deck on to the field. The searcher allows you an archetype deck to get the card the deck needs to initiate combos and begin field presence as well as maintain it, if already established. The summoner is the card that usually summons your key monster to initiate the big plays of set archetype. Finally, the boss monster. The boss monster is the monster in the deck that is the win condition of the archetype deck. Okay, let us talk about the ingredients that makes a good archetype deck. Here is the new list. 1. Recruiter 2. Searcher 3. Summoner 4. Boss Monster 5. Reviver 1. The Recruiter allows an archetype deck to summon more copies of a card and allow the deck to get the searcher card from your deck onto the field. 2. The searcher allows you, an archetype deck, to get the cards the deck needs to initiate combos and begin field presence as well as maintain it if already established. 3. The summoner is the card that usually summons your key monster to initiate the big plays of set archetype. 4. Finally, the boss monster the boss monster is the monster in the deck that is the win condition of the archetype deck. 5. Reviver The Reviver, though, is usually a card in an archetype or in some cases a series of cards that allows the revival of monsters and also the retrieval of cards as well in the graveyard, adding it back to the hand or deck. All these actions, I have said, here is the job of the Reviver. Moving on, let me show you the qualities of a fantastic archetype. 1. Recruiter 2. Searcher 3. Summoner 4. Boss Monster 5. Reviver 6. Sealer 1. The Recruiter allows an archetype deck to summon more copies of a card and allow the deck to get the searcher card from your deck onto the field. 2. The searcher allows you, an archetype deck, to get the cards the deck needs to initiate combos and begin field presence as well as maintain it if already established. 3. The summoner is the card that usually summons your key monster to initiate the big plays of set archetype. 4. Finally, the boss monster. The boss monster is the monster in the deck that is the win condition of the archetype deck. 5. The Reviver The Reviver, though, is usually a card in an archetype or in some cases a series of cards that allows the revival of monsters and also the retrieval of cards as well in the graveyard. Adding it back to the hand or deck, all these actions I have said here is the job of the Reviver. 6. Sealer Sealer is the card that seals an aspect of the enemy's plays. The last phase 
an exceptional archetype deck. 1. Recruiter 2. Searcher 3. Summoner 4. Boss Monster 5. Reviver 6. Sealer 7. Absolute Protection and 8. Reset 1. The Recruiter The Recruiter allows an archetype deck to summon more copies of a card and allow the deck to get the searcher card from your deck onto the field. 2. The Searcher The Searcher allows you, an archetype deck, to get the cards the deck needs to initiate combos and begin field presence as well as maintain it, if already established. 3. The Summoner The Summoner is the card that usually summons your key monster to initiate the big plays of set archetype. 4. The Boss Monster Finally, the Boss Monster is the monster in the deck that is the win condition of your archetype deck. 5. Reviver The Reviver, though, is usually a card in an archetype or in some cases a series of cards that allows the revival of monsters and also the retrieval of cards as well in the graveyard, adding it back to the hand or deck. All these actions I have said here is the job of the reviver. 6. Sealer Sealer is the card that seals an aspect of the enemy's plays. 7. Absolute Protection Absolute Protection is the card that protects your cards from effects by your opponent. You can grab this card off a searcher, recruiter, and summoner. 8. Reset Reset essentially can be a series of cards or one particular card in an archetype deck that allows you to redo any play again. Meaning, if your recruiter, for example, got stopped, the reset option resets it and allows you to do it again. The second type of deck, dual archetype. Now that you know about archetype decks, what about dual archetype? When you build an archetype deck, you may notice that your archetype deck is weak in one of the four aspects that make a normal archetype deck. For example, we will call this deck A. Deck A may have a good recruiter, semi-decent summoner, a non-existent searcher with a weak boss monster. So, what do you do? You look around at another archetype and you find this, which we will call deck B. Deck B has no recruiter, no summoner, but has a good searcher and a strong boss monster. Let's go into more detail. Deck A Good recruiter, semi-decent summoner, non-existent searcher, and has a weak boss monster. Deck B No recruiter, no summoner, good searcher, and has a strong boss monster. Alone, these two archetypes are weak, but what if you combine them? We now get Deck C. Deck C is a fusion of Deck A and Deck B. As you can see, Deck C is much stronger than Deck A and Deck B. Deck C has a good recruiter, a semi-decent summoner, a good searcher, plus a strong boss monster. Dual archetype decks can help you as a player to build a deck stronger than the two halves that made it. The third type of deck, multi-archetype. As your journey to build an exceptional archetype deck continues, you discover that the journey to make an exceptional archetype deck is hard. That it is, my friend. But your Yu-Gi-Oh! Master is here to offer you the solution. It's time you went the multi-route. The multi-archetype deck route, that is. We find an archetype. Let's call it Deck D. Deck D is from what we can tell an average deck, but we want to raise its level to be an exceptional archetype deck. What do we do? Our first mission is to strengthen its basic values by, let's say, using another archetype. Let's call it Deck E. We can raise its level to get it to that exceptional range. We decide to add one more archetype. Let's call this one Deck F. 
after adding deck F, combining it with deck E and the deck D, we get an exceptional archetype deck. But you are asking, what have we actually done? Let's look at the contents of the various decks. Deck D, 1. Recruiter, weak. 2. Searcher, good. 3. Summoner, decent. 4. Boss monster, strong. Deck E, 1. Recruiter, strong. 2. Searcher, none. 3. Summoner, strong. 4. Boss monster, average. Deck F, 1. Recruiter, none. 2. Searcher, strong. 3. Summoner, average. 4. Boss monster, weak. By combining the decks together, we get a multi-archetype deck which we will call Deck Mystery. Deck Mystery takes de Deck D's Boss Monster, has Deck E's Recruiter and Summoner with Deck F's Searcher. All this creates the exceptional archetype deck, Deck Mystery. Remember, raising an archetype's deck level to exceptional is easier by using a lot of decks to cover up the weakness of each other. Bear this in mind when multi-archetype deck building. The fourth type of deck, Engine. Engine is a type of deck that revolves around one or several cards in initiating a combo piece which leads to big plays. Engine decks are usually combo heavy. That's all really I have to say about this. The fifth type of deck, Anti-Meta. Anti-meta are usually the decks that counter the current meta decks. Meta means the decks in Yu-Gi-Oh which are in high ranking in the current tournaments. The sixth type of deck, Freestyle. Freestyle is a deck built of your own imagination. It usually has no theme and it just plays the way the creator intends it to play. Freestyle is not a common style of deck building in Yu-Gi-Oh! Though this type of deck is unique, it usually isn't found in the competitive scene. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.